Welcome to this video about Experience Cloud Community Management. In this video, you'll learn about the key roles, responsibilities, gamification basics, and built-in reports and analytics for maintaining a healthy Experience Cloud site. Healthy Experience Cloud sites are typically staffed by individuals in the following three roles, site managers, moderators, and administrators. First, site managers monitor the adoption and engagement of the site. Someone internal to your company must fill this role. Site managers work closely with moderators to ensure that the site is a healthy environment and that members feel encouraged to be active and helpful to each other. Next, moderators can be internal users from your organization, or you can have external users help flag comments and posts. To give an internal user the ability to moderate, you can assign them as a contributor in the administration workspace. Moderation is crucial for a site to thrive. You need active moderators who are willing to spend time ensuring that the members and content on your site are appropriate and helpful, the last role is the administrator. Admins do the technical task of creating your experience cloud site. Then they manage the ongoing administration of your site, such as adding members, securing your data, defining what records are shown and to whom, and enabling other features such as SEO. Please note that if your company is small, you could have just one person managing all of these tasks. But for bigger organizations, you'll certainly need at least one person in each role. Now, let's look at how moderators manage their many responsibilities within Experience Cloud. Moderators will conduct most of their work in the Community Workspaces tab. At the top of the page is what we call the Experience Site Pulse, which displays key metrics such as total number of members. You can click a metric to open the corresponding report or dashboard for more information or to take action. You can also customize the displayed metrics or create new ones to meet your needs by clicking on Edit Metrics. Next, let's create a moderation rule, which is one of the main tasks of a moderator. First, we'll go to the moderation workspace, and then we'll go to the rules tab. We want to create a new rule that we'll call the spam bot rule. With this rule, we want to flag new accounts that post significantly more than average. That way we can see if these are actual users or if they're spam bots. When we go to rule conditions, we'll say this should apply to posts as well as comments. And we'll say the moderation action should be to flag. Here, we could enter a message to the member if we want. In the criteria section, we will select members without contribution because we only want this rule to apply to brand new members. Then we can add any content criteria we like. For example, if posts have any banned words, we can include that criteria here. Then we can make the rule active and hit save. Content criteria, such as the banned words criteria we used, can be created in this section of the moderation workspace. Let's go back to our dashboard in the moderation workspace. In the moderation workspace, you can keep track of flagged and pending discussions, messages, files, and more. Now let's cover how gamification can boost site engagement. Recognition badges are native tools that acknowledge your members' accomplishments. For example, if a customer signs into the site for the first time, they can earn a welcome badge. Or if they work with someone and want to show their appreciation, they can send them a thank you badge. Salesforce provides default badges, but you can also create your own and you can allow your members to create and award badges. Another great tool to use is Reputation Level. The Reputation Level appears on your profile page and lets other users know how influential you are. When you start out, you are at the lowest level, but as you become more active, you gain points and your Reputation Level increases. Here are some of the default activities that increase your Reputation Level. These can be modified by your administrator. The Missions feature allows community managers to automatically assign badges to members. For example, a mission can assign the Nice Work badge when a member answers 10 questions. You can set missions on actions such as writing a post or comment, receiving a like, and more. Members can earn each mission badge once. Before you get started with gamification, it's important that you develop a gamification strategy. Here are a few questions to ask to help you develop a strategy that's right for your organization. First, what does engagement mean for your site? What is the user journey? Gamification and user journeys go hand in hand. What types of site contributions are the most important? What is the spectrum of site contribution? For example, users might be answering questions, posting questions, liking other comments or posts, or tagging other users. What cues will we provide? Moderators can help to prompt questions or posts to promote engagement. What content is the most relevant that we should guide people to? Once you've thought about your goals, think through how you might use the default functionality of badging, levels, and missions to encourage the behavior you want to see. Experience Cloud comes with built-in reporting and analytics to specifically help with moderating site activity and reporting on site health. We already covered the Experience Site Pulse at the top of the workspaces. 
For additional metrics, we highly recommend downloading the Salesforce Community Management Package from the App Exchange, which any internal user with the Download App Exchange Packages permission can do. The Salesforce Communities Management Package gives community managers a starter set of dashboards and reports to keep tabs on activity and engagement directly in the experience workspaces. Your Experience Cloud site also comes with dashboards that give you mid- to long-term views on adoption and engagement in your community. Use dashboards to view your site's analytics, such as metrics, trends on activity, and other key performance indicators. For more self-serve information, check out help.salesforce.com or visit us on the trail at trailhead.salesforce.com. Thanks for watching!